Hi guys, I am MD Shahajada Imran. That is my name. So previously I have created one video um, about uh, Selenium Basics Part 1. There I showed how to open browser using Selenium. So in this video I will show how we can identify an web element using selenium so i will take the same project that i have showed in the previous video so in this previous video i have showed this uh, project mm, i have showed how we can create this project and these are the four lines that i showed which will launch or open the Google Chrome browser and I have added this line um, to maximize the Google Chrome browser that I have showed in the previous video uh, so I will take that one but before I continue I want to run it to see that is that project is working fine now so I will be running it I just run the project the script the script will launch the Google Chrome browser and enter the Facebook on the address bar and then maximize the browser so the browser is maximized if I go here execution completed so this uh, line has been um, executed now I want the automation script will enter my first name here so if I tell my automation script to enter my first name here the automation script will say there are one two three four five six places um, automation script can enter some data in this page in this entire page there are six six places automation can skip some enter some data here or here or here or here or here or here so there are so many places so I have to give an instruction so that um, automation is skipped can identify this web element uniquely so if I tell my if I tell automation script to enter some data uh, in this field I have to tell more information so that automation script can identify this uh, object or this web element uniquely so if I enter here if I, I just clicked on here and right click from from the key um, from the mouse this this came up if I click on inspect this showed up I'll do one more time inspect now this is uh, this are the information associated with this object or with this web element it has uh, input type text classes you see the color this is white at the below also white this color is very light blue so this this color this this all this information belongs to this object or belong to this web element so it has class name this it has um, data type, text, name. These are proper. Th these are properties, uh, or it also called attributes. So name is an attribute, class is an attribute, data type is an attribute. Name attribute has a value. The value is first name. The data type attribute has a value. The value is text the class attribute has a value the value is input text the type attribute has a value and the value is 
text so it has this is the tag name and this is the attribute name and this is the value so if if I tell automation script to enter my first name on the edit box these are these are these are edit box on this edit box that's name attributes value is first name then object can object can be identified uniquely the automation script can identify this object uniquely uniquely so let's see if I use name as a first name and try to enter some data in this field in Java we have to specify the data type web element is the data type and I will say object I will give variable first name equal to I will be using find find element using this method by dot I will use name in the name, name so there are uh, selenium support eight selectors class name CSS selector ID link test name partial link text tag name expat so I will be selecting name there here now I need to give the value of the name I will go back to Google Chrome and here I will see the name proper name attribute has a value first name so I will take that value double click from the mouse right click from the mouse I copy I go back to the script I enter here as test and semicolon now I can see here uh, a red underlined red uh, color a red color underlined so I will click I put cursor on it so this list showed up now I will click here now this object has been created I have created an object called obg first name so that the automation script can identify this this field let's see if it if it, if can if it can identify so next time I will copy this object and I enter here I dot I entered a dot from now I will say what I can do I can clear I can click but I want to enter data so I will be saying send keys send keys and I will put my first name MD now I identify that object or identify that web element uniquely using the name attribute and value and the method I used find element and I told my automation script to enter MD in that field in that field now I want automation script to enter my uh, last name here so to analyze this field or this object or this web elements information I have to click here right click and click on inspect now this this portion has this uh, light blue colored uh, so this this info belongs to this object it has a tag name input and the attribute name type text is the value and the attribute name class this is the value 
and this is also another attribute this is the value this is another attribute this is value it also has id and this so this time i will try to identify this uh, web element uniquely in a different way instead of name i will be using id let's uh, use id let's use id okay so i go back to the script now then i will try again web element there is the data type object uh, last name I can give any name but uh, I just uh, wrote obg so it refers the object or web element equal to and I will use the same uh, same way drive same way driver driver dot find element by this time I use id id so I need to get the value of the id property so I go back to google chrome and I this is the id attribute and equal to this is the value in double quote so I will be copying the value copying the value when I enter here and I will put my last name here dot send keys and I will put my last name Imran here Now I have identified two web element and I ask to enter two data into two web element. So in this line I have identified the web element uniquely. In this line I ask the automation script to enter MD in that field. In this line I identified the last name object, this object uniquely. And in this line, I ask the automation script to enter Imran in that field. Let me run it and see what happens. So before I run, I close this open browser. Now I will run it again. I also clear this. I will run it again. I just ran so the automation script should launch the Google Chrome browser it did it should enter Facebook in the address bar it did uh, it should uh, maximize the browser it did and it also entered my first name and my last name in these two fields now I want to add more before I add um, yeah let me add more so here I can put my email address in this field I can put my either phone number or email address so I want to uh, ask my automation script to enter some data here also so for that I have to know all the information about this object or about this web element how I can get information about this web element I first I click on this um, field then I right click 
and I click on inspect I will do it one more time now it came if you see in this section this portion has different color than this and this this is white this is white but this portion's color is light blue that means this portion all this information belongs to this object or belongs to this wave element in this portion it says this is the tag name this is the attribute name this is the value this is the second attribute name this is the value and this is the id this is the value so before i choose something to identify this web element uniquely i want to tell something that what are the option uh, selenium support it support name property it support id it support xpath it support css selector it supports class name it support tag name it supports um, link 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 text link text it support partial links partial partial link text link text now let's see what are the things is available for this particular scenario does there has name is there any field called name yes it does it has a name the value is uh, reg email reg email i copy this one I go here let's say I'm equal to Value. so this is what I can use to identify the object uniquely how about this one ID let me go back to the Google Chrome browser is there any attribute called ID in this uh, section yes there is it says ID and the value is this one I copy that one go back to the notepad equal sign so I can use ID also to identify that object uniquely I can use either name or I can use ID now expert can I use expert yes how I can get the expert I just right click here it's just copy it's just copy expert I copied the expert in the clipboard uh, I, if I enter here so I can use this one also expat how about CSS selector can I use CSS selector let's see if that appears here um, yes copy C copy selector expat CSS selector is not available I don't see anywhere says copy CSS selector so it's not available but we can always create CSS selector oh CSS selector we can we can use CSS selector um, it would CSS selector would be um, this is a formula that we can uh, I the tag name the for I'm using the formula since there is no option and uh, third parenthesis uh, third parenthesis open attribute name I will be I can use any attribute I will be using name attribute so attribute name is 
name asterisk equal to single code and the value this is the name attributes value I'm copying paste here single code here so this is the CSS selector value I can use CSS selector also so to identify that object uniquely the email address uh, field I can use name or ID or XPath or CSS selector now class name is this one class name is this one so I also put here class name but I'm not sure if class name will be unique now if I try to identify the object uniquely using class name automation script may say there are multiple objects there are many objects with the same class name so I'm confused which one I should enter data then that means that object is not uniquely identified I have to choose something that makes this object unique the script can identify this object unique if I use class name and uh, there are many objects let's say this female object or the male object also has the same class name if that is the case then it's not unique now tag name how about the tag name I use tag name here is the tag name tag name is input if I use tag name do you think uh, Selenium the automation script uh, can identify this object uniquely? No, because in the tag name is input, the same tag name for this one, for this one, for this one, for this one. So if I tell uh, identify this object using a tag name, the script will say there are six uh, objects has the same tag name input. So I'm confused. It's not uniquely identified. That is what the script will say. So that that means we cannot use this one. I just remove this one. We cannot use this one. I remove this one. We can use this for. How about link text? Now, is there any attribute called link? No, it's type. It's class. It's data type. It's name its value area required it's all this um, light red color one placeholder area dash level one area this tree bed by so these are the attributes available there is no attribute called l i n k link so this option is not available so i remove this one and the partial uh, link text link uh, that attribute link is not available therefore a full value or the partial value doesn't matter this one also not available so finally after analyzing we found that there are four way out of eight ways four ways are not available and these four ways are available so let me try with expat Web element uh, email address email address equal to server dot find element by dot I will be using expat this time expat the value this is the value And I have to use backslash before uh, as part of regular expression before every double quote. 
now I have used X path also. Now I will be trying to enter my email address. This one. Chart send case. I'm looking for somebody. Let's see. Yeah. Send keys. Enter. I'll be entering my email address. Um, I, I put my phone number. 2 now since I have identified that email address also in this one and I asked the admission script to enter uh, in this field my email address let's see what happened um, I will close the open browser first now I will clear all the text from the console now I will freshly run this script and see what happens Automation script should launch or open the Google Chrome browser. Yes, the Google Chrome browser is open. So automation script should enter Facebook in the address bar of the Google Chrome browser. Yes, it did that. The automation script did that. And also it maximized the browser and entered my first name, last name, and the email address in the three fields. So I have showed how we can identify an object or an wave element uniquely. The Selenium, Selenium supports eight selectors um, that I have showed. I have showed in this video in detail. I gave the in detail explanation. So thank you guys for watching this is the selenium basic uh, video this is video number two the basic video thank you guys for watching